Easy. Well, we're at that critical stage of will they or won't they. I'm talking about HS2. It's coming up for review and whether it's going to be scrapped or not. Now, before I carry on, I've picked up a number of new subscribers since I last made a video about HS2. So I'll leave a link to that in the description box. In that video is where I go into the, uh, my opinions on it uh, and whether it should go ahead and whether I think it will. Uh, so I won't go into that here so you get the picture on, on that one. So check that video out because there's more information on that. But now we're on the uh, this will they or won't they stage now and it's uh, going to be decided on whether they're going to continue with it or to scrap it. Okay, now I'm going to have an, another Mystic Steve day today. I'm going to make a prediction. My prediction is they will not scrap it. My prediction is that they, they will go ahead with it uh, and I think the reason for that is because th there are too many uh, voices who have got uh, vested interest in this project. I mean, I uh, found out the other day about some of the uh, senior roles in this, the executives and the managers and the directors and that. And you know how they often give these ridiculous job titles to people? Uh, and, and these guys are on six-figure sums, you know, sat hundreds of thousands of pounds per year. And the powerful business uh, lobbies uh, and, and all that sort of thing, I think that the, their voices are going to be too loud. And what's getting me is that uh, the, 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 the government are coming out and saying that, well, Boris has made a commitment to, uh, uh, to the people of the north of England and HS2 is a part of that. No, it's not. What if they can do now with that is round in the north of England, they can improve the uh, existing rail services. They can start filling in some of the potholes in the roads because a lot of the roads round here resemble the surface of the moon, let alone a, a typical road surface. And, and if, they, if they undertook a project of uh, infrastructure round here, uh, on the railways and the road surfaces. The people in the north of England could see the results of that investment now, within five years. With HS2, nothing's going to get uh, going till the 2030s or even 2040s. By now, we could have had this, this government, we could have had a second Tory government, then some more Labour, uh, and, and it's, you know, on and on and on. But right now... We can see the results if they undertake these kind of projects that can get results within five years. That is how to get these northern voters on side. That will get them on side. That will ensure Boris gets a second term. So uh, that's my prediction. Please check out that other video. 106 billion it's talking about now for the, the, the cost of this. If they scrap it, apparently it's going to cost them 12 billion just to scrap it. But in the days when I went to school, 12 billion was a lot less than 100 billion. I think. Am I right with that? Perhaps I ought to ask Diane Abbott. Maybe she'll fill me in. Thanks for watching. Till next time. Easy.